Hello, darlings. Welcome back to the channel. I'm trying my hardest not to laugh at how stupid this looks, but I'm poorly at the minute and I really didn't want to be on camera today. Um, so you'll have to <laughs> cut out Aiden with a photo of my office. What the hell am I doing? I have no idea, but I was getting creative and I thought, do you know what? Cut out Aiden with a photo of the office and this is just going to have to suffice for today. Yes. So welcome to a build challenge video, my loves. I've been promising you guys a build challenge and I've done one. Not so much a shell challenge. It's a little bit more like Design Me Devon. And I can't take myself seriously with this wiggling around on the screen. But I'm just getting creative with it, darlings, to be honest. Um, yeah, I didn't want to do a shell challenge. I've done something very, a little bit different. It's going to be, as I said, like a little bit like Design Me Devon, where I want you guys to renovate a old schoolhouse into your dream home yes so what we're gonna do we're gonna flop on over into a speed build format so i don't have to keep wiggling my arm around moving this photo of myself in my office my god my god i really need to question my life choices sometimes but i just had to go with this today i did so without further ado Let's get over into the speed build format and I will explain all of the challenge, not so much rules, all of the challenge features, shall we say, and I'll go over the date that I want it to be complete by and also what the runners up and the winner will get of this challenge. So without further ado, let's get over into the speed build format, shall we? Okay, okay. Bye. Well, hello, my darlings, and welcome to the old schoolhouse. This, my dears, is your shell, your shell of creativity. You can do whatever the hell you like to this. You can change the wall heights. You can knock walls down. You can add bits to the building. You can do whatever you may wish. You can even move this and put it on a bigger lot. I've got it on a 20 by 15. You can put it on whatever size lot that you want. Now, there are a couple of limitations. These are the only rules throughout this whole build challenge. And one of them is no custom content to be used. You need to use all Sims 4 stuff. No matter what pack you've got, you can use any pack that you may wish. Um, just get creative. You could make this pink. You could put the walls taller. You could add another floor. You could do whatever you like. But there is also a 50,000 simoleon limit to this build plus what you can salvage from the lot as well so if it goes over slightly 50,000 don't you worry about it it's absolutely fine because I did leave furniture in this lot so if you do sell them and get a little bit more money then that's just part of the storyline isn't it darlings but just try and stick around the kind of 50 to 60 mark however much you may get from selling the furniture on the inside and that, my darlings, is the rules. Nothing else. Just get creative. This is your dream home. I want you to build your dream home as you would have it in your tastes, in your style. Yes, we might be a bit limited with The Sims 4 stuff, but make it your own. What would be your perfect house? Would you modernize this? I would put like a modern extension or something on this, but you know me by now. And I'm sure there's quite a few of you out there that love that as well and want to do that kind of thing, which I would love to see, by the way. Um, then go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with. A bit of a shorter video today, but as I said, I am really, really poorly at the moment. Not really, really poorly. I've just definitely got a cold. Um, so you'll have to excuse that. But this is going to give you a whole lot of time as well to get this done. I will be um, drawing the winners on the tw Friday, the 26th of February. So that's Friday, the 26th of February is the deadline to get this build in now use the hashtag bumpkin build as well on the gallery that's bumpkin build make sure you spell that hashtag right um because i'll only be checking that one hashtag for the builds uh so make sure you spell, spell that right and to get them in by the 26th of february now as i said there's going to be two runners up for this build challenge they will each get a game pack of their choice 
and there will be one overall winner who will get an expansion pack of their choice. So I think this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun for us as a community to come together and just have a bit of fun. No rules. Just go crazy. Do what you like. You could make this bloody bubblegum pink if for all I care. It's I want it to reflect you and your tastes. And some people might not want to live in an old school house. So you might want to change it completely. But I'm really, really looking forward to seeing how your imaginations and your creativity flows through this, my darlings. I really am. Now, throughout the weeks as well, leading up to the 26th of February, I will be live streaming myself on Twitch where I will be going through all of your builds um, and just having a look with the community and seeing what people are creating out there. But I will also do like a separate video moment for YouTube where we'll go through some of the entries and the runners up and then obviously the winner as well. So keep an eye out for them, my loves. They will be coming up very shortly, very shortly indeed. How are you all doing? I hope you're all okay. Um, I'm, ugh, I do, I feel bloody awful and it's my own bloody fault really. I said the other day, I was like, do you know what? I didn't get at all poorly in 2020 and I didn't, I didn't have one cold, um, nothing. And look what it came to surprise me with. I'm very fuming. So yes, very fuming and thank you for all the well wishes. You Honestly, I'm fine, but I just need to rest up, I think, this weekend and that's what I plan to do. So the build itself, it's all base game as well. What I'm using is all base game, so you don't need any packs to put this into your lot. Uh, I just really love the look of old kind of Victorian looking schoolhouses. Um, so I really want it. They almost look a little bit like a church and I, I'm kind of here for that. And that's what I wanted to kind of portray with this build. I want it to look a little bit like a church and it kind of does. It's got the big tower at the top with the clock and whatnot. Um, yeah, it's lovely. Very, very nice. And I, I'm so excited about seeing what you guys create because as we all know from the Devon... Um, Design Me Devon series. There are so many talented people out there in the community and I think it's nice to kind of showcase them. You know, it's always the bloody YouTubers, isn't it? Who get who gets all the um, all the pie, shall we say. So it'd be nice for people out there that aren't YouTubers and stuff to kind of show off their talents and I thought this would be the perfect build challenge for it. Now, I will say there will be, you'd probably need to have a Twitter or at least a social media where I can contact you on. I don't have Facebook, so that one there is out of the question. But for when I'm giving over your codes and stuff, I'm going to need to add, like to DM you a, I might even see if you've got Discord or something. I don't know. We'll find a way where I can get you guys the codes who have came up in runner, runner, runners up and what the winner. <gasps> God, I'm struggling. I can't even talk today on that poorly, but you guys are important and I really wanted to get this out for you. So don't worry about me. I know there's going to be so many of you kind buggers out there that say you didn't need to do this, but this brings me joy. This community brings me joy. So I just want to give back to you guys. And I thought, you know what? I'm good to not put myself on video today. You should see the state of me. I've got a massive bed head. I'm still in my dressing gown and I, yeah, I just look rancid today. So there was no chance of me coming on Um. <laughs> On video today so that's why I did that awful thing in the beginning and I'm going to keep apologizing that for the rest of my life but um I <laughs> hope you enjoyed it I really hope you enjoyed it but yeah so this has got two entrances one at the, one at the front one at the back with this little staircase coming down you as I said guys you could change it you could have five entrances if you wanted to do what you the hell you like I'm really looking for some innovative designs I'm really looking for Maybe I, I I even look when people still repay or, or pay respect to the old building there, but I have like modern elements to it and stuff. So if you wanted to do that, I'm looking for that kind of thing. But I just want you guys to go wild with this. I even had an idea inside, like it'd be cool if there was like a mezzanine level, like a bit like a loft house or something. This would look really cool as a loft. So that could be an idea for you guys in there. You could have this could be up to, I would say, four bedrooms in this place. It's quite a big size. Maybe three, actually. Three bedroom house. But go wild. You could add a basement. You could add another floor. I mean, it's got an attic. It's got that little attic at the top. So that could be a little, like, factor to think into your um, design process. Like, just go wild, my loves. This is just a bit of fun. So don't take it too seriously. Um, I just really, really want to see... Uh, you guys just go wild go wild with it and I cannot wait to start checking out the uh 
the um hashtag and going through all of your guys creations i really can't really really can't so sorry to you twitchers tonight as well i had to cancel the stream and but as i said i'm i'm very poor so i will be back on monday sorry to do it all last minute but when it's your health, you've just got to pay attention to it. I've already had three oranges today. I've, I've had my vitamin C. I've had my vitamin B3, my vitamin D. I've had paracetamols. I'm just about to have a bath because my boiler has been installed. I've got a new boiler. So yeah, I'm so excited about having a bath. You would not believe it's been 10 days without hot water or heating in my house. So I am going to go nuts in the bath, darling. I'm going to be staying in there like an absolute dumpling. I'm going to be a stewed dumpling in the bath for a few hours and catch up on some YouTube and stuff. So can you wait? Oh, also, we can know all these little like um, balcony things that I put here. In the beginning, I was going to use them, but I simplify it down a little bit. You might have noticed that in the little video tour that I did in the end uh, and in the beginning. Sorry. Um, but yeah, it still looks nice, but we go a little bit more simple. Now into the interiors so i kept it very bare and minimal i stood still wanted this place to reflect that it was a schoolhouse so i made it look a little bit like an old school with some desks and chairs and stuff around nothing too like massive and don't forget if you've got a fifty thousand budget and then you sell these on top and it's a little bit more don't worry about that that is absolutely fine it's not out of the rules just try and keep it within the 50 to 60 mark if you can i'd be most appreciative um, storylines as well if you've got a storyline about yourself that you want to come with this build and why the rooms reflect on you or something like just go nuts like we're keeping it easy breezy we're going to keep it as it comes um yeah just go nuts my friend i've done a big double wraparound staircase you could get rid of the big double wraparound and just have you could do anything you can do anything you know we're just going to keep it as that my loves going to keep it as that but yeah, up here, I thought it looked, it'd be a nice little place for like a dining area with a couple of toilets in here and then a small little classroom as well off to the front of the house. I thought that would be nice. But yes, that's uh, that's basically it. If you've got any more questions, you shouldn't have because I've kind of covered everything. Go wild. This is your build challenge and show me your dream homes. But if you do have any questions, then feel free to put them down in the comment box and I will try and get to answering them over the weekend if you do have any queries. But this is just a bit of fun, my loves. Have fun. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys create. Really am. Have a lovely weekend, my friends. And I'll see all of you darlings bright and early. Well, not early, but still bright on Monday. Goodbye.